very much, Bruce. With all those people downtown, stores open late. Downtown retailers are, of course, hoping for a strong start to the holiday shopping season. They need it here in downtown Pittsburgh. Well, marketing professor Dr. Audrey Gusky of Duquesne University is with us now with some predictions for the holiday season. And I also want to talk about some other things with you, too. But thanks so much for coming in Always again great today. To be thanks, Jen. I'm sure that it's hard. I don't want to be the holiday downer, but I'm sure that it is hard for a lot of uh, people associated with downtown to be festive when there right. are struggles downtown right. right now. Unfortunately, as you know, we've lost the two anchor department stores. Yeah. We've lost Lord and & Taylor and Lazarus Macy's. And as a result of that, it is hard for shoppers to come down into the, the city area to be shopping because these were two of their biggest draws. Of course, we still have Kaufman's and Saks as far as the large department stores and a lot of wonderful specialty stores. But consumers, Pittsburghers in particular, just aren't accustomed to coming into the downtown area still. and shopping. Yeah, generations ago, our grandmothers probably did. Mm -hmm. but, but nowadays, people aren't. They like the convenience, they like the safety, they like the free parking that you have um, in the suburbs. But Pittsburgh needs this especially now, huh? Oh, absolutely. We need a big shot in the arm. And when you think of a festivity like Light Up Night tonight, it's fabulous because it really is a boost. I mean, everybody's in a festive mood, regardless of the weather. And maybe it's good for retailers that it is raining because more people will be in the store That's shopping. That's true, too. And I think the, the impetus for that is if you can get people into the city and see See the wonderful opportunities they have as far as shopping outlets, then maybe they'll come back. Yeah, just once. Just that just one once. look might be able to bring them back again. Exactly. To get the rest of the bad news out of the way, we were talking before, your predictions as far as just the holiday shopping season in general, not so good. Huh? Yeah, they're not going to be good. Last year they were not good. There was mm -hmm. about a 2% increase from previous years, which is very poor. Uh, typically you're looking at 4 to 5 percent increases. And okay. so this year I'm thinking we're barely going to be flat from last year's sales. So, and that's a national prediction. So if you look at the Pittsburgh area, we may even be a little bit below that. So the news is not very merry for retailers, which is unfortunate. Not to say they're not spending billions and billions of dollars, which we will be, but just not in, as much as they had hoped for. Okay. In the couple of minutes we have left, I want to touch on some other big news that okay. has come out. Kmart Sears, the right. Sears Kmart merger. What a huge news story yeah. that is. I mean, I've been studying marketing for 20 years and I I think this is one of the biggest stories I've heard. I think that's good news for both of these retailers. They have been hurting, and I think as a result of pulling their strengths, and they complement one another. Uh, Kmart having the better merchandise and service, and, and Sears providing things like the appliances and the outlets in the downtown or, or the mall types of areas. And so I, I think overall they're going to blend very well. I think it's a very good marriage. I think it's good news for Pittsburghers because hopefully we won't lose our Kmart and our Sears yeah. because Walmart is so huge. You need the right. competition. Right. And speaking of uh huge marketing stories. Wouldn't you love to be the person behind Big Bed? What Absolutely. Do you think about this? What a future he has. I mean, has. the t-shirts, pierogies, sandwiches, this must be something for you to watch from well, I am. I have been studying it. He is a huge marketing phenomenon and yeah. it is exciting and, and his um, cards, his player cards are selling more than I think any of them, $200 per card now as a rookie card. He's got all kinds of merchandise. My favorite is the Big Ben, extra large Big Ben steel grill. <laughs> I'm sorry, Steeler Grill. Steeler and, Grill. And so then he's got Big Ben watches and things like that. So he's got a lot of merchandise out there. And I think um, hopefully if he stays, you know, uninjured yeah. and he stays as strong as he has been, I think Pittsburghers need that. So in a sense, that is wonderful news for the Pittsburgh economy because people love their Steelers and they're going to be spending one way or the other, whether they're holiday shopping or buying Big Ben merchandise. Yeah, I was going to say, ultimately, if it's good for Big Ben, it's, it's good, it's good for, for Pittsburgh. Us. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Anything else about holiday shopping you want to let us know about this? this well, at this time before we talk to you after the, the uh, after Thanksgiving on the first big day. Let's give some good advice to shoppers since they're starting out. Uh, typically the day after Thanksgiving is the initial kickoff. Right. And my advice is shop early this year because there's not a lot of merchandise. Retailers have cut back and the inventories are short. Uh, fortunately for us, tons of sales from beginning to end. So yeah, I would say get already. out there, start looking. Yeah. They've been trying to push us into the stores. Mm -hmm. We have two extra days compared to last holiday season. So at least we can take a deep breath and don't have to rush through as much. And I okay. also always recommend stay on budget. Yeah. You don't want to overdo it and um, you know go above and beyond your means because then it's not a very holiday um, happy shopping season, no. especially come January. No. All right. Thanks so much for coming in. And we will see you back in here uh, bright and early the day after Thanksgiving. We'll get a scoop on we'll everything. We'll make more predictions on. and see how people are doing we in the mall. Will. Great. Thanks so much, Audrey. Great,